Choices that you make in the supermarket today will determine your food supply in the future. It is not logical, it is not sustainable to be doing farming thousands of miles away from where people live. And we need to move towards technologies that replace that. I'm Peter Barber, the CEO of Comcrop. Comcrop is Singapore's first and only rooftop farming company. So what we're doing is using the latest engineering solutions to farming, which is hydroponic technology. We use a commonly available system called AutoGrow. So AutoGrow is a computer system which has a sensor, so it monitors the pH level and the nutrient level, temperature and other elements within the water, so we can know exactly what the condition of the water is, adjust our nutrient levels for the plants, and that allows us to optimize things for the best growing conditions for the plants. This is a really sustainable way of growing vegetables because you recycle your water and your nutrients, and then we use the natural sunlight to be able to grow the plants. People also use hydroponic technology in what's called controlled environment indoor farming. However, there is a balance because it, obviously if you're doing indoor farming, you need to climate control the room, which means basically air conditioning, and you also need to pay for the electricity to run the lights 24 seven. We've found that rooftop farming is kind of this hybrid summer in the middle because we're using a lot less power, but achieving similar results. So this is the only pest things that we use, a sticky paper to catch the pests if they come in, which means we don't have to use pesticide. Singapore is a very unique city-state where there is not a lot of production happening here and we're very reliant on international supply of vegetables. So when things like COVID happened, the entire global supply chain of food actually got disrupted. So it really put a huge amount of importance on the fact that we really do need to grow food here and we need to find new and innovative ways to achieve that in an urban environment. So I think if we can get these systems to work, if we can prove that these urban farming environments are sustainable, not only from a growing point of view, but also financially, then it can really change the way that we've been producing and distributing food around the world and make a big change that hasn't been seen for over 50 years.